The Rise of Online Shopping and the Effect on Retail Stores by Rionomy. This was posted January 4th, 2017. The holiday shopping season is over now, and the results of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, its online-only counterpart, show the continued migration from the physical store to the remote tech device. Research firm First Data reported that online sales accounted for 25% of all transactions over Thanksgiving weekend, up from 18% the prior year. It also said that online sales increased 10.8% from 2015, while physical shopping rose 8.6%. This year's Black Friday was toted as the largest U.S. holiday shopping day ever, with sales hitting 3.45 3.45 billion. Then a few days later, Cyber Monday broke the short record by about 110 million and posted a 12% hike from the prior year. Meanwhile, sales on mobile devices hit 1.07 billion, a 34% hike from 2015. This obviously doesn't bode all that well for the retail sector of commercial real estate. After all, consumers only have so much money to spend. If they increasingly choose to make more transactions online, that means less trips to stores. Brick and motor retailers are trying to to fight back. The emergence of experiential retail has caught on at shopping centers around the country. This is an attempt by retailers to get customers in their doors by garnering their interest beyond a simple transaction. It can take the form of in-store events such as musical performances, celebrity appearances, product demonstrations, giveaways, and other attractions. After all, Apple stores reportedly have the highest sales per square foot of any large retail chain in the country, even though one can purchase every item sold in its lo- in its locations online. The problem is that a retail chain that has hundreds of stores will have trouble incorporating this in all of its locations. After all, experiential retail comes at an um, operational price. Retailers are already paring back stores. Many of these closures can be blamed on overexpansion coupled with a major increase in online sales. That said, many chains are likely cannibalizing themselves with their own e-commerce business. Observers blame Amazon for the decline of physical stores, but many retailers with several locations have a formidable online presence. For example, found in the top 10 largest online retailers are Walmart's second, Staples' fourth, Macy's fifth, The Home Depot sixth, Best Buy seventh, Costco Wholesale ninth, and Nordstrom's tenth. Amazon sales might be just under half of those combined but those traditional retailers obviously attract the interest of online consumers. Online retail sales are not going to slow down. As a result, we are going to see more store closures. However, many wrote the mall's obituary nearly 20 years ago, but there are still plenty of very vibrant retail venues across the country. Retail, real estate executives and their tenants have always adapted to changing economic environments with creativity as well as access to the right commerce, or excuse me, to the right commercial real estate research. One never knows what new physical shopping format and concept the future will bring.